Uh, welcome back guys. Today we're going to be looking at um, question 2. So this is uh, a way of helping you to make things a little bit easier for yourself when you're driving with LNs. Um, the first thing that you'd probably want to do is use the log laws to, to actually help simplify um, life for you. And if we just remember what they were, LN of A to the N equals N L N A. And then when you had LN of A on B, that was equal to LN of A times LN of B. And then if you had LN of AB, that was equal to LN of A plus LN of B. All right, get the idea? So what we're going to do is we're going to use that first of all, uh, rearrange it first of all, and then what we're going to do is we're going to simplify it. So I'm going to, this particular thing, I'm going to write this as LN of 3x squared plus 2x to the power of a half. So that means that I could mark my function here as a half, LN of 3x squared plus 2x. So then when I do my derivative of this particular function, um, let me scroll down a little bit. Uh, sorry. Um, then what I can do is I can say then that uh, my dy dx is equal to a half. Now that doesn't change, it's just constant value. Now remember the derivative, so you just write the function down 3x squared plus 2x and then I derive it, that becomes 6x plus 2. Done, finished. All right. Now over here I have to do some rearrangement first of all. So I can say using the ln of uh, that take that, so that will be ln of x to the full, take ln of 7 take x squared. All right. So I can then rewrite this as 4 ln of x take ln of 7 take x squared. So when I do my derivative, and it's really just a one line thing you have to do here, that will be 4 times by 1 over x, and then that will become take 7 take x squared, and then I'll do my derivative minus 2x. So therefore I could rewrite this if I wanted to as 4 over x, the negative and negative are going to cancel out, plus 2x all over 7 take x squared. All right, so you get the idea. So you can use your the log laws um, to rearrange that prior to actually doing it. Now, like most things, we can also do implicit differentiation here as well, can't we? So if we start looking at find the dy dx for this thing over here, um, then um, I could I could actually do the same thing over here using my same laws uh, with that. So. Um, Obviously, if I've got this particular function here, let's do A. Well, actually, no, we'll do B. We'll do 3B. So I've got this function here, which is x squared ln y equals y. Now, and I have to find dy dx. So I think we've got two functions here. So I've got my x, fu x squared function. I've got my ln of y function. So let's do it. So if I've got this here, I'm simply going to go, the f dashed is 2x ln y. Okay, and then it's going to be plus x squared. Now, the derivative of ln on y is 1 over y, isn't it? But because I'm differentiating a y term, I'll put a dy dx. So implicit differentiation, that's what we're doing. Over here, that would be simply 1 dy dx. Now, the secret is to bring all your dy's uh, to one side, and then what you do is you bring everything else on the other side. So in this particular case, I might bring that to the side over here. So then I'll have 2x ln y, that's equal to 1 take x squared on y, because that's that term there. And then that's going to be simply dy dx. So therefore, our dy dx is going to be the 2x 
LMY all over 1 take X squared all over Y. Done finished. Alright, so you can do implicit differentiation using LNs. Uh, no big problem. And so you just treat it the same as you've always tr treated the, the function. We just use those two simple rules that we've always been using, which is um, simply ln of y or ln of x becomes 1 over x, ln of f of x becomes f dashed of x over f of x. So good luck with those questions. Make sure you try and understand them. If you need some help, catch up with me.